Hey buddy and welcome back to Twin Trevor Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Xbox One controller on Dolphin Emulator on Android for GameCube games. Now I've already done this on the PlayStation 4 so if you have a PlayStation 4 controller then you can check my video out there and if you want to know how to install Dolphin Emulator and how to hook up your Xbox One controller to your Android phone then you can check my videos that will be linked in the description down below. That being said, if you like this video and you help it, then hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's just dive straight into the tutorial. So once you've got Dolphin Emulator installed on your phone and you've got your ROMs all loaded up and everything's ready, you're going to want to hit the three dots in the top right corner and then click the bit where it says GameCube Input. Now, as you can see, you can have up to four controllers here. So I could have my Xbox controller, my PlayStation controller here. Choose GameCube Controller 1 for the first port and click Emulated. And it'll bring you to this screen here and all you have to do is tap the button that you want and tap the corresponding button on the Xbox controller. For example, for A, I'm going to tap it and then tap A on my controller like this. For B, I'm going to press the B on the phone and then press B again. Now, for this one, I usually put B on B, but if you're playing a game like Twilight Princess, you might want to put B on X because of the way it's laid out on the screen. So it really is up to you where you want the B button to be. I usually put it on B for most games, but when I'm playing Twilight Princess, I usually have it on the X on the Xbox controller. And for X, I like to have Y on the Xbox controller because that's where it is on the GameCube controller. And for Y, I'm going to press X on the Xbox controller. So the setup I have is A and B are the same, but for X and Y, they are different. For the Z button, press the Z button on the screen, press RB. I usually have that set to RB. For up, again, I press up and then just move the left analog stick up. Same for down, down, left, left, right, right. For the C stick, you're going to want to use the right analog stick. So up, up, down, down, left, move it left, right, move it right. Triggers, LT for the right trigger, RT. And then the D-pad is obviously the D-pad is obviously the D-pad here. Just up, up, down, down, left, 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 right, right on the D-pad. Save your settings and there you go, you're good to go. Now we're going to test this out on a game. In the PlayStation 4 video, I tested it out on Super Smash Bros. Melee, I think it was. And I've already tested Super Mario Sunshine out on the Dolphin emulator. So for this one, I'm even so for this one, I'm going to choose one of my favorite games of that era. I'm going to choose Need for Speed Underground. Obviously, the soundtrack and audio will be muted. So anyone expecting to hear a bit of Riders on the Storm. You're going to be disappointed because I'm going to have to mute it for copyright reasons, obviously. But this was one of my favorite games growing up. And it definitely, definitely needs to come back. Need for Speed would be so much better if it was a Need for Speed Underground game. So name. As you can see, I'm moving the analog stick around. There we go. Name Big. Oh. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Name. As you can see, I'm moving the analog stick around, the D-pad around, and then when I press A, it can put in my name. So I'm going with big twin cherry. Oh, can we have big twin? We're going to go with big twin it is then. I haven't played this yet, so I don't know how well it runs on this phone. But the games have been running quite fine on this. If you want to check out the graphic settings that I use, then you can check out the graphics video that I did on how to mess around with the GFX and make your games run a lot smoother. Now that I've turned the music off, which is a shame because Riders on the Storm is a great one. And we'll just do a quick sprint to test this game and the controls and show you that they work. Obviously, I'm going to put it on very easy. Three opponents. Let's try it with maximum traffic. Let's 
Let me know in the description. Let me know down in the description if you played this game growing up and what was your favourite car in this game. I think I'm going to pick the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Quick look at the controls. B is nitrous. Shift down. Yep. Okay. I think I've got it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Oh god, this game was good. So the controls are running really smooth. As you can see, I'm using the back triggers. I haven't got any nitrous installed on my car, so I can't use the nitrous. But I can use the brakes. And the game is running smooth. Well, smooth as it can. And I totaled my car. Let's get some nitrous installed in this bad boy. This is only making me want to play this game even more. I might actually do like a full day stream in this game. Probably do it on my PC though and not the Android phone. Coming in third at the minute. This game looks a lot better in my head. I bet it looks fantastic in HD though. Big accident there. I'm only two seconds behind. I remember the first time I played this game. It felt so good to drive cars around. I did put the traffic up to high just to test the graphics out on the phone. No, nope, miles behind now. I'm not winning this. It's gone six seconds ahead. I've got no nitrous. I've got no modifications on my car. But all the buttons work fine. And that's really all that matters. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And there it is. That is how to set up the Xbox One controller on the Dolphin emulator on Android phone. Let me know down in the comments what games you would like to see running on the Android phone. And let me know if there's any other emulators that you would like to see tutorials on. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. It does help this channel grow. And I want to get as many of these tutorials done as possible. And every single like, every single su single subscription, every and every single like, every single subscription helps me do that. So thanks again for watching. It has been fantastic and my absolute pleasure. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.